It is absolutely imperative that we realize that we're a part of nature. So take a moment today to step away from your computers and realize the miraculous. And also, uh, I've stayed inside for about 10 hours working on this video, so <laughs> irony! Remember when I was making everybody write their name 26 times and vote for Bastrop County first responders? Many of you texted, you, you tweeted, you emailed, you liked, you forwarded it all for a good cause. And I wanted you to see a, a little bit of this ceremony from this incredible organization called Recognize Good. These two showed up today at City Hall and they're going to renew their vows. We're just waiting for the mayor. <laughs> uh, the next person uh, we're going to, to recognize is Scott Hardy. <laughs> mayor, I gotta let you know I got a nickname, Barney Five. <laughs> Barney Five. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> But uh, uh, Scott is with the uh, ba uh, Bastrop County uh, First Responders. Uh, he is a volunteer firefighter, a roadside assistance uh, hero. Something happens to you on 290 or, or 71, and he's going to be the guy that comes save you. He is a dog rescue owner. Uh, Scott is... <laughs> He is uh, dedicating his life to, to just, just spreading kindness around the Austin area, one great deed at a time. Thank you so much, Scott. And the next $500 reward goes to Scott Hardy with Bastrop County First Responders. This might be hard for some of you to believe, but I have a hard time accepting praise. I can give it, but it's difficult for me to accept, but I was honored. So as we conclude the ceremony, thank all of you for taking the time to be here today and for your support of the Recognize Good Legends programs. It's programs like this that make Austin special. They matter, they make a difference. And so once again, one last time to all of our winners and legends, thank you so great so much. If there's someone that has changed your life for the positive, or you know someone you'd like to recognize as a legend, visit Recognize Good and please nominate them as a legend. It's all good. I told Eugene not to be drinking when he pulled out the road line painting machine. Well, I guess we'll just follow it and see what happens. Seems to just be leading into a circle. Oh, it's just spiraling into itself. Ooh, leaking oil, not good. And I have a feeling I know where that's from. Oh, my friend, I have a very big problem because the rubber gasket to here. The problem is, see this here? Is the seal in there? Oil, my friend. Oil just drip, drip, drip. Everything on exhaust is smoke. And I am very big angry. Very big angry. I say, come on, mole. This is very nice. This is very... Oh, this is very, very nice. Very, very nice. This cop is no Honda but it's very nice, it's solo. He's gonna sing a song for me. <laughs> Ave Maria. Right side here is where the rubber fit to the groove, right? And this here you can see, <laughs> that's a pretty bad. But I save the old alternate. I take the old one here, I put it to there. Forget it, man, it's work nice, it's no leak for now. No, it's very nice. It's good seal, it's good gasket, rubber, it's nice. And um, I'm lucky. Well, you know, it's not luck, it's not skill. 
their skill. My father teach me turn wrench. You know, I know a little, few things. But when you do anything very good, something good goes through you. And when something very good happens, you become the wrench. You know? So you can't take the credit. You have to share. You have to share this. Say, hey, grateful, thank you. Thank you, Honda. Thank you to work. Thank you to let me to have the fingers to work. I don't make these fingers. No, it's not. I don't have these, not mine. I just borrow, okay? Rent to own. I think I have just few more payments. I'm not sure. Be good, everybody. And live to ride another day, okay? Thank you. In America, this is American Sign Language, thank you, but uh, not everyone speaks same language. In Carpathos, my country, this is sign language for thank you. Thank you. If you want to say uh, t thank you very much, you do this. Thank you. Thank you. In my country, you have to be in very good shape to thank someone. <laughs> Do that Our friends in the UK. If you do that in the UK, that's the same thing as the middle no, finger. We'll take it out. Oh, you can't do that. The French. That's an insult. You blow. You know that the French. Uh, they 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 blow the kiss like this. Look, like this. What is this? That's offensive. That's the American eagle. That's the. <laughs> that's a flying sphincter. <laughs> that's for you, Joe Rogers. It's not true about all those gestures, though. So. Although this in Greek. That's throwing poop on them, and then if yes. you do it like this, that's double poop. That's in the face. double poop. Oh in the yeah, face. yeah. Poop. Or you say "skordathas sumatiasu." You know what that oh, is? Oh, I don't yeah. even want to know. That is garlic in your eyes. Ooh, what burn. an insult! Burn. Did he, oh, hold me back. Did oh, he say garlic burn. in my eyes? Oh yeah, you said garlic in my eyes. Get ready. Asparagus in your armpit. Oh. I mean, look at her fur. Yo, she's so beautiful. This, this is, is incredible. Destiny. The fact that she look at this fur. Yeah, and no, no, mange, no yeast. Uh, Your mange no yeast free. No nothing. I like it when she snort. I like it when she snorts and like this. No ribs, no right. hip bones, and we built this muscle up so that, and she's got all of her body strengthened. She's got so a, that she's ready to have that leg removed. Wait a minute. We're not. We can we possibly not remove this leg? The problem um, is that the knee snapped and then it has fused side by side right so she would forever have pain and she really doesn't use it for balance or use and she can't lift it so she actually knocks it on things and it it is a liability we'll get second opinions and see what we can do about getting this leg fixed well regardless i mean worst case scenario it's you know your amputation and we, we know i mean listen we have a lot of three-legged dogs here. We've had and, a lot of three-legged dogs come through. Now we always try to save the limb. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do. The biggest thing is, regardless of what we do, we need funds to do it. <laughs> you mean we're not just uh, we're not just independently rich? Uh, no, we're at zero. The intestine was how big was it? Um, an inch thickened with um, ear inflammation and bacteria and infection. Yeah. He was in horrific pain. He's so the good along. news is he's pain free. We just can't leave him on prednisone forever because it actually um, masks the symptoms or and it causes them to go into Cushing's and diabetes. So oh, okay. You so. only want to do it if there's no other hope, like your hospice. Right. We don't want to give up on him yet, so we're gonna try everything because he's still young. He's I love the color that's so been through color. here. Remember when it was brown? It was brown dogs, and now it's just black Sometimes and white. It's all black. Yeah, we, we had never an all had black. So many whites, I don't think. Right. And she was broken when she, she came broken. here. Like I her mean, leg wasn't just her, broken, but her spirit her, was her broken. Her spirit was broken. She had never been inside, and she had had this broken leg since she was a puppy and been outside sick with mange and infection. Just that. Can you imagine? And how she would that just was? look to me and cower. And now she plays, she's strong. Her best friend was, remember a boxer lad? <laughs> this looks like Cha-Cha, but it's not. This is Penny. What's the story with her? I know that she was heartworm positive. She's been through our treat. She's been through treatment. Now she's heartworm negative. How was her number she up? She had already been sedated. So literally minutes. You literally got her minutes before euthanasia. 
What a save. She's such a good girl. We have a room out here, and we've dedicated our entire ground floor of our home to, to make it a shelter. It's really like a, a rehab facility is what it is. We live upstairs, they live downstairs. We have an agreement. It's hard to believe there are 22 dogs in here right now. But if I say, who wants to go out on a bye-bye? Anybody want to go outside? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So all we need is for you guys to make room in your hearts, you know, so share these videos, contribute if you can, if not, just share the video, because if yeah, this girl gets, yeah, if she gets a forever home, score. So what you're seeing is the majority of these animals are fosters. We either take feral, we've taken medical cases. All the hard rock cases, but they, they turn out great. See how well behaved they are? <laughs> the bottom line is when you get an animal from a shelter, you don't know what you have. They, no, they, they have shelter shock. They, a lot of times they come to us, they have worms, they have skin conditions, and they're not really ready. You, you can't to, see who they really are, so they need time, and that's what we offer. We, I know it seems like it's chaotic, but it's actually very peaceful here. And uh, these animals have brought us closer. I mean, there's times, listen, it ain't easy, but there's, for the most part, you know, it's just like the I've children. I've been told one more, and he might not come home. Nah. <laughs> yeah. No more heartworms for you, little one. No, but where this was shaved was for the IV. Oh, uh, it's growing back. I think it looks nice. I think it kind of makes him look like you've got poodle tendencies. Alpha, you have poodle tendencies. Uh, Aww. Oh, look at this. He's a boy. good boy. This guy needs a good home, too. Someone will say, fly him to Canada. Aww. I think that might be the first time he's given me a sugar. He's a good boy. I still think we should keep him trimmed like that. Oh, by the way, um. <laughs> You're fancy. You're a fancy poodle dog. Gets... Look, it's oh, Grish. Gishy! He's a heartworm patient. There's it's another ready. heartworm patient. Available. Grish is available. If you ever wanted a lab, but you oh, didn't want the long you legs. You want like a pocket lab. <laughs> I love you. What's going on? I don't think I can let this one go. Oh, no, Christini. Of course we get close, you know, and these are hard cases. Ed had double fractured pelvis, tib fib fracture, broken ribs. And now look at him. This was Sophie. She had pyroderma. She was cabled for two years. We thought she was going to lose that eye. She found her forever home. Rocky and Cheyenne, very difficult amputation cases, also adopted and forever homes. For us, this is the big payoff. This is Greta's home visit. And when it fits, when it's perfect. That is incredible. We don't pass dogs off in a parking lot. Most of these dogs are, are such survivors and they've been through so much. We want to make sure that it is a win. I have two jobs, four days a week as a restaurant manager and two to three days a week as a paid volunteer firefighter. It's a very unique position and I'm grateful for it. So I work six, seven days a week. That's nothing compared to Christine. She is seven days a week, 365 days a year. And she does this because she loves this. She does this because this is where her heart is. We say it all the time. She likes to try to save the dogs. I like to try to save the people. And before YouTube's algorithm kicked in, we were pretty much making enough money to cover a lot of our medical expenses for these animals. But like Christine said, we're at zero right now. And we have multiple platforms to contribute. You could contribute directly to our vet. We have never carried a balance there, but we're doing it right now because we had to. We'll also put up a GoFundMe. I think we're gonna start a Patreon account too. I, I gotta figure out how to do that thing. Also contributing to Uncle Mullet would help. I, I'll leave links for all of these things. But most importantly, if you can contribute, that's great. If you can't, just share the videos and share the love. That matters. And we are grateful. The dogs are grateful. And the people that now have these loving dogs in their homes that came from our refuge, it's just incredible, y'all. Thank you again.
Good girl, Piper. You done good. And I am very big angry. Very big angry. This is very nice. This is very... Oh, this is very, very nice.